Buffalo Air Station Pro test. I set up a pretty simple lab. However, this time it is connected to a gigabit switch because when we go to 5 gigahertz 802.11n we need a gigabit switch and a gigabit laptop. As you can see access point is over here and there are two laptops. This one is wireless and that one is connected with a cable to a Cisco gigabit switch. So over here as you can see there are three cables one cable goes to the access point one cable goes to the laptop and the third one to a router which is a DCP server we can ignore it for now but uh, you, you will find this router over here it's not really important I need that to get an IP address the idea is to test it see how how it performs and what what speeds we can achieve because this is a gigabit network now I expect to see at least 20 megabytes per second which gives us around 150 megabits per second this laptop is already connected to to the main SSID as you can see here and it negotiated as you can see here 300 megabits per second I have a tool that is called LAN speed test we are going to use it to test it as well and of course we'll copy some files make sure that Windows is happy to send files using this network let's start with this test then I know the IP address is 10 10 18 12 let me go to let's say public public documents and I should have something okay let's say this just some files that I am preparing at the moment let's try and copy and see how well it performs as you can see around 20 megabits per second let me move it and sort by size oh here is a test a big file oh don't enough space fair enough what about that one ah that's better very stable 20 2 megabytes per second it gives us 160 megabits per second not bad for a connection like that what you have to remember is that this access point is next to that laptop of course it might not be that good if you put that in a room next door still not bad now I want to show you this tool LAN speed test it's a very simple tool that requires you to put a server IP address it means just an IP address of the laptop and the shared folder let's let's copy that one and paste it here Oops. now when I click start test it will ask you what is the size let's say 100 megabytes it is going to copy and it is going to write and read this file for us and let's see if it recognizes the same speed uh, not bad 100 and 
40 and 200 megabits per second. Very similar to the values that were reported by Windows. Not bad at all. Now, I will change to 2.4 gigahertz. I'll show you that. It is connected to Net A. And Net A is 5 gigahertz. Net B is an SSID for 2.4. Let's test it then. Let's connect. It can take a while because there is no access to the internet and Windows will try and figure out what's wrong with it. That's why it can take a while. It will tell you it is connected but it's limited. Limited. It will show you that in a second. As you can see here, it says limited. Okay. And let's do the same test. I should be able to connect the same folder and make sure it doesn't go to sleep or anything crazy. Let's see if I got an IP address. IP config. Hmm. Don't have an IP address. Well. Let's let me verify that. Let's just connect again. Net B is connect. Let's connect again. There is a DCP server. Should connect. not a good sign let me see if the laptop is the router yeah the router is connected yeah oh the cable is yeah it's loose okay Probably that was the reason why it couldn't get an IP address. Now you should see some light. I got 10, 10, 10, 7. Okay, that's sorted. Let's do the test again. Ah, you can access it now. Windows, don't complain. Okay, I can access it now. And the same file. Let's try and copy it. Remember, now it's 2.4. As you can see, 7, 8 megabits per second. That's all we can get. Megabytes per second. Because it is 2.4. If you want to get 20 megabytes per second or 150, 200 megabits per second, then you need a, a card and an access point that supports 5 gigahertz frequencies. It is uh, pretty stable. This card can go faster than that. Oh, now it's better. Yeah, you can say an average is, is around 7 megabytes per second, which is not bad for 2.4 gigahertz.
Yeah, it's pretty stable. The last thing I want to show you is my access point, that's Cisco 1141, I think. And I was surprised how well this, this wireless card worked with it. That is a Fritz wireless card. It is connected to the laptop over here. We try and zoom it in, as you can see over here. Now I will try and connect to my net network. I was I was really surprised that I got like 10 megabytes per second which was really really good. Going to connect. Now it should give me access to the internet as well. Windows should not complain. As you can see, it is connected. Let's do the same tests. I will copy that to 172.2. That's my server. Again, let's go for public. The same file. It's not bad, and it is two, three meters from this laptop. Maybe it could even get better than that if that is that is a fast Ethernet, 100 megabits per second. If that is connected to a gigabit switch, maybe it could get even better than that. As you can see, it is around 10 megabytes per second, which is really, really good. The maximum I saw was 11, which gives you almost 100 megabits per second, which is really, really great. It is much better than the Air Station Pro, to be honest, on 2.4. As you can see, very, very stable, and it is a little faster, maybe not much better, it is a little faster than than the Air Station Pro on 2.4. I can test it on 802.11 and 5 gigahertz because this access point does not support that. It is 2.4 only. I want to show you that is the Fritz, a really good wireless card. Now I will disable this card and show you the built-in card, how slow it's going to be. Let's disable this guy, and I will enable the built-in card. It's not a bad laptop, it's, it's a Windows 8 Lenovo laptop, it's a pretty decent laptop. Still, in most cases, built-in cards are not good, unless you go for a business laptop then the cards are better. Again the same SSID and we'll do the same test. I am going to this server. Make sure you can see that. Public documents and again the same file. Copy. You will see around 5-6 megabytes per second. Ooh, that That's slow. That will get better than that. Here we go. As you can see, 5 megabytes per second, which gives you around 40 megabits per second. Ooh. Yeah, that's wireless, guys. It can happen with wireless. Now it's stable. 5 megabytes per second. As long as it's 
stable later on, you should be okay. Yeah, as you can see, it is 50% slower than the wireless Fritz card that I used. It's a lot of interference, I think, because it goes up and down. It's not very stable, to be honest. Now it's better, around 4 megabytes per second. More than enough to browse the internet and access a NAS server or files on a server. That's more than enough. However, if your internet connection is really fast, then you need something better than that. Let's just test it again. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. It is 50% slower than using a dedicated card. Thank you very much.